I'm going to eat the chicken. Mm. We are making the potato and the chicken biryani. The gravy has got the nice thickness. Tanmay, do you like biryani? Mutton biryani, chicken biryani? Okay. Look at the rice. It's still, the chicken is nice and juicy. First, bite for this young girl. Nice chicken piece. Everything will disappear in one bite. I like salam and the chicken pieces. Mm. Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washchef at vareva.com. Today, we have little Tanmai. Say Namaste. She is a very silent girl in front of camera, but otherwise, she is a brat of the brat. I know. So, her dad calls her lucky because you are lucky. Only after you are born, your dad starts working with me and he is a director. Tanmai, do you like biryani? Mutton biryani, chicken biryani? Okay. Chicken, yeah, she's finally, she said she likes chicken biryani. But today we are making the potato and the chicken biryani. Especially when your, you know, kids are at home for vacation, you know, just get them involved. She is little bit shy today, so I'm going to make it everything myself. Look at this. We have uh, the whole spices here. I'm going to make a nice uh, masala dar potato biryani. For this, take some cloves, black cardamom, green cardamom, bay leaf, cinnamon sticks and a little bit of mace. Garlic, coriander seeds, soft seeds. Soft is nice, you take a little bit. Okay, see, eat. I also like soft. Mm. Fennel seeds, cumin seeds and more importantly, we are cooking it with potatoes so we want a little bit of masala dar and she also eats really hot food. So we are going to add some peppercorns, add some ginger. All masala make it into a paste. See, whenever we are going to, you are going to see this video when you are in college, okay? Then you will have to cook. This paste, we are making it raw. So, we are going to cook it in the oil with the masalas. Once you put in the blender, this is the masala. See, you may have to do so many masalas in your lifetime. <laughs> but it is so much fun. Cooking is fun. What class are you in now? Second class. Which school? Pallavi Aware International. Here in Hyderabad, every school in the background is international school. So, because most of the children, they lived abroad in most of the countries, so they join all these international schools. I want to make the biryani in this. See what I am going to add. So, I am going to slightly fry in this and then we are going to shift into that. So, biryani, we are going to add oil, add onions. She is a biryani girl. Biryani girls or biryani boys right from childhood they will love this raw onions because with the biryani we eat raita and the onions everything she's seen it all add salt fry the onions slightly brown tanmay who cooks in your house mostly dad or mommy but who cooks tasty hmm? nana see that is the benefit of you know every day being on the show dad makes tasty food because I know my director Mr. Vijay he is also very fond of cooking and many times he makes some food and brings and even he makes me taste. When the onions are slightly brown we are going to add this masala because this masala is raw mix it with this onions. This masala will also start getting fried in this oil. These onions and this masala will give nice dark color in this chicken. We all love chicken to add the pieces of chicken in this there are many methods we make the biryanis. Some masalas are different than the other and each one of them. You know, we love the basmati rice. So, I am going to start the basmati rice a little later. But first, we are going to saute them. So, I know Tanmaye, you are wondering what is happening here. But the end, you and I will eat great biryani. Here are the potatoes. After cutting potatoes, you have to put it in the water. You know why? Otherwise, the potatoes will become slightly black. Add chilli powder. I am going to add a lot of mint. Coriander, because I am going to make salon also, I am not going to add yogurt in this. I am going to add water in this. I am going to let this simmer. I am going to add some more salt. I am going to put all of this into my biryani handi in which I am going to mix the rice. So, I am going to transfer it into this. The technique is, the water has to be tasty. Only then the rice will be tasty. We are going to add some salt. I am going to add the ghee because I am doing the absorption method. So, the nice flavor of the ghee, if you want to add you can add some jeera, you know we add whole garam masala and all that. But for me, I am just going to cook the plain rice because that is too much masala dar. In this, I have soaked the rice, let this rice 
cook in this. Mix it once. Let it cook till the entire water is absorbed. In the absorption method, when the entire moisture is almost done, we are going to leave it on the side. And uh, I have this chicken, you know, just with the potatoes. They are just half cooked, not fully cooked. But there is a lot of water. So the rice is almost 75% uh, ready. Sprinkle the rice on top. So whatever the moisture is there, that should be sufficient to cook this rice. I am going to add some green chilli on top to give some more additional flavor. In the same way, I am going to get all this rice on top of this. Sprinkle some coriander, saffron water. We are going to put the lid. I am going to make nice salon for this uh, chicken and potato biryani. So I am going to put this on the other side under the tawa. So on a slow heat, I want this to cook for another 10 minutes. I am just going to take peanuts, sesame seeds, coconut powder. I'm going to add some water and make this into a paste. You can also, you know, dry roast it. You can also fry it in the little bit oil and then make a paste. But anyway, I'm going to cook this in the oil. So I'm going to do it just raw like this. We're going to make a nice salon curry. But uh, what kind of sports do you like? Swimming, skating, dancing. Swimming, skating, dancing. Yeah, I also, you know, when I was a kid, like seven, eight years old, I also learned Bharatanatyam, uh, but I can't do any dance now. For making this salon, you know, you want it nice and spicy, so add oil. In this, we're going to add mustard seeds. And when the mustard seeds crackle, that's when you will get the nice aroma out. Some red chili, cumin seeds, methi seeds. These methi seeds, wherever we add tamarind, we have to add a little bit of methi seeds. Onion, some curry leaf. And you want these onions to be slightly brown in color. So we're going to add salt. She is wondering what am I doing here? This is not my age to learn. No, you guys will not believe. When I was 7, 8 years old, I cooked almost 3 meals a day in my house. 8 years old. My mom was hospitalized for some time. That's when I actually learned cooking. This ginger garlic paste, little bit. We're going to add turmeric. And we can add this paste of peanuts, coconut and sesame seeds paste. This is a raw paste. We are going to slowly cook with the onions. One day you will be making some wonderful dishes. So what do you take for lunch to school? Rice. rice. Pretty much all South Indians we take rice to school. And along with that what? Sometimes chicken, mutton, what? Vegetables. Only vegetables, huh? Yeah, your dad eats a lot of chicken, mutton here, okay? In this, we are going to add chili powder, the cumin powder and some coriander powder. We are going to cook like this dry till some of the oil is coming out of this masala. That is an indication that the masala is all cooked. You can see some of the oil is also coming out of this. This is when we are going to add some green chili. We are going to add tomatoes and we are going to add tamarind juice. Some more water for the gravy because all this paste will become gravy in this we are going to add some yogurt also see the saring agents in this is tomatoes yogurt and everything the paste is giving a nice salon but i want this to be slightly thinner the real flavor will come when we add capsicum into this add water and let this cook usually in the restaurants in the hotels we cook this for almost one hour in a big container I know many of you are feeling sorry for this little girl. She is coming and standing here. She is really a brat and I think this is the way for me to make her stand still. But anyway, she is taking a little breaks in between the cooking. The gravy has got the nice thickness. Finally, we are going to add some garam masala powder. The real taste comes out of the gravy when you add the capsicum, that is the bell pepper. This is what will give the nice taste for the entire gravy another thing what will make this gravy super tasty is adding a little bit of sweetness you can also add sugar but a little bit of jaggery powder this jaggery powder will give a very nice taste to the salon once you see some of the oil you know coming on the sides that's when this dish is ready this is all perfectly ready mm, the mild sweet flavor along with this nice spicy masalas i'm going to add some coriander leaves are you hungry? Yes. Yes? See, this is all ready. We are going to eat biryani now, okay? This salon curry, you know, slowly you will see this rogan, you know, coming out of this salon. This is very tasty. And a little bit for this young lady. She is way too shy today. Otherwise, she will be sitting on top of my head. For the big boy, 
little more of salan curry okay finally the biryani this is nice pepper and uh, potato biryani but look at the rice you know no matter how you cook the rice will be nice and perfect look at the rice it's still the chicken is nice and juicy so i'm going to give you nice masala dar ha ha you know that you have done it perfectly when even the potato pieces they come out nice and still in shape first bite for this young girl so take as much as you can nice chicken piece <laughs> now you can eat i am going to eat the chicken mm everything will disappear in one bite i like salam with the biryani especially because of the potatoes and everything mm dear friends make it and sit with your family and especially summer vacations bring the kids along and have fun in the kitchen i know after the cameras are turned off she will be jumping around this is what your does he directs and you have to act okay great food make it with your family and enjoy mm very tasty and the chicken pieces mm finally the stool is a little bit high 